All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Another night in the streets, another night in the sphere. I've been kicking the chicken and tosses through me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under the rocks. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just give me a Majority of the times we don't have many problems, but um, occasionally we get those emotional spikes from new arrestees. One time uh, there was a fellow that was uh, leaning over half asleep. I went over, tapped him on his shoulder, and I said, hey, pardon me, go ahead and move over. He jumped up and took a swing at me. Um, had to put him in handcuffs, put him in a sep cell, and that's where he spent the vast majority of the night. Again, that only happens 10, 15 percent of the time, and so I guess I always, I don't know, expect the worst and hope for the best. Enforcement deputies is coming in with a point of police officer and said that he's got a, an inmate coming in or a crook coming in to max restraint. Which means he's a real bad actor. So we're gonna come out, assess the situation. I can't do my back, my neck, all of it is just really sore. Ow! 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 What are you screaming about? My left my left hand. Just come on out. Uh, uh, I got this side. Ready? One, two, three. Stand up. Put your feet down. I can't. I'm hogshead. I can't put my. I can't put my feet down. Please, please, please. Okay, so listen. Please, please. I want you to listen to what I'm saying to you. I'm listening. Okay, we're gonna take these leg restraints off so you can stand up on your own. What please I, what take I don't the left want, cuff off first, please, please. What I don't want is for you to start acting in the way that got you put in this in the first place. Do you understand oh, what I'm okay. saying? Just have some mercy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Outstanding. Have some mercy. Left cuff first, please. We're not going to do left cuff first, so we're going to undo the feet first. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, let's stand up. Ready? Oh, no. On your knees first. On your knees. Okay, now go ahead and stand Straight up. up. What happened? He allegedly was involved in some kind of a domestic violence with his his mom and his sister because he's got a count of domestic violence strang strangulation and then two counts of menacing and then he actually broke the metal uh, the metal uh, seatbelt in the police car so he charged it with criminal mischief also. I was having a panic attack. I, I was freaked out because of all those people and I was just panicking. Take this off. He was calm and then he flipped out and uh, started kicking the, the partition between my, myself and him. So then we tied his feet down, let him sit up straight like an adult, started banging his head, he's like, what are you gonna do about it? And I said, I wanna, you know, you're gonna bleed, that's what's gonna happen, I'm gonna have to tie you up now. I hate being ganged up on by a bunch of thugs. He's, we were cordial, he was totally cordial at first, when we first got there. Totally cordial, you call seven or eight people at my front door and shotguns and everything else, totally cordial. What did you do to warrant that response? Something called accountability, man. Put yes. your feet down. Is he done being searched? I'm gonna grab your gear. Yes, sir. Thank you. Go to holding cell one. Right in corner over here. We're going to let him de decompress a little bit, not be so uptight and so anxious. And then further on, uh, get along with the process. We still had to get his uh, mugshot taken, get some prints taken. Still needs to be talked to by medical a little more in depth than what the interview that was done earlier and find out if he's going to get released. So he'll talk to Recog, if he's going to be staying, then he'll talk to classification, and then he'll go upstairs and be housed. He's still got to, when he just came in the door, he's probably won't be heading up. If he stays, he probably won't be going upstairs for at least another four to six hours, thereabouts. Something like that. So he'll be eating dinner here. behind that toilet. <laughs> right now. Come from behind the toilet. Leave me alone. Listen. First, I asked you to come from behind the toilet. So that's what we're gonna do in the first order of business. Do you feel like you want to hurt yourself? Because right now you're leaning in the direction of being on suicide watch. Is that what you want? 
No. Then you need to start acting like you got some sense. Because if I hear any more banging or anything that makes me think you're in here trying to hurt yourself, you're going on a suicide watch and I'll see that personally. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I can't hear you. Yes. Thank you. I think he's faking it. Let's go ahead and take him out right now and finish processing. Help me. Help me. All right. Stand up, John. Let's go. Come on. All right, going this way. Right over here. Calm down. Hey, Jeremy, if you tell the medical what you take outside, they probably can get you some of that if it'll help you out. You know what you take? Between medication right now, it got to be too expensive. I don't have health insurance. If you're in between medicines right now, are you self-medicating out on the street? Yeah, what are you using? Pot. So you're just doing just marijuana right now? I don't do any other drugs. Any alcohol? No, I don't drink. Alcohol makes me sick. I can't even drink a beer without puking. Come on, Jeremy. She's ready to get your prints. Step on over here. She can use the machine to get them. Step back just a little bit. Hold still so she can get this done. It just seems like he's uh, doing a lot better out here than what he was in a, in a sub cell. And if he starts to act out, then we've got to put him in a sub cell because we've got way too many people out there to be trying to, to have to sit somebody that close. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on him and see how that goes. Hopefully, though, he'll be able to maintain. Once I started this job, I found that the camaraderie between all the deputies, it's like, kind of like a second family. On my days off, you know, I, I golf with some of these guys, play softball with them, and, uh, you know, it, it's more than a, than a guy could ask for, you know, knowing that if anything ever happens during the shift, that they're always going to be there to have my back. San Diego Central Jail, Intake Control, Deputy C, I can help you. Hey, Buford. What's up? The police Department just brought in a uh, transgender. We should go make contact with him because we might need to separate him. All right. Anybody have a seat on the bench? Apparently what's going on is he was soliciting prostitution. When they contacted him, they found out he had a parole hold. He's been brought back in several times on a violation of parole. Can you go ahead and pick your shoes up? Go and pick your shoes up. I'm going to stick through here. There's a phone right there. Come on in this way, and we're going to fingerprint you for a second. Come step right over here for me, Rodney. Stand right here from her. So do you know why you're here today? Uh, yeah. Get to your right hand. For a uh, parole violation warrant. OK. You know you're a parole fugitive? Yeah. OK. So, so tell me, why is it that uh, you chose this type of lifestyle? Um, do you mean the, the transgender? Or? Yeah, the transgender lifestyle. Um, I just kind of always felt like a girl, so... Um, Are you taking I any... actually moved out here to get on hormones. Really? So. Are you currently on hormones? Uh -huh. What do you prefer? Do you prefer to stay in mainline, or do you prefer to be in the... Uh... Um, I did fine on mainline. Um, other people didn't, mm -hmm. you know? I actually am lucky enough to be able to fight fairly well, so... Really? Um, I went through like eight fights in two months when I first went to Donovan. Really? Yeah. You ever fought while you've been here in county jail? Um, yeah, I have. Actually, the last time I was here. Really? What happened? Um, one of the girls that was out there, I guess, was from Oceanside. Mm -hmm. It doesn't care too much for... Hey, Clyde, go with Kim. ...for the people from down here. Kind of think we're all... They're a little better than us up there, and I had to show her the wrong. All right, well, come this way. We're going to go ahead and walk this red line, and we're going to take you up and get you uh, the rest of the booking process. We're going to take you into this room up here, and we're going to uh, pretty much change out into some jail blues, OK? OK. Go ahead and step inside, please. Go over to number three. We're going to be going to contact somebody right now. Uh, apparently, he was uh, 
fighting with the, uh, we had a disagreement with two of the other guys that just came in. I guess he's a little drunk. We're gonna go contact him, see if he needs to be put into a uh, sobering cell. Hey man, what you drink tonight? I drank everything but vodka. Everything but vodka? How yeah. much did you drink? I drank about two ounces of uh, Go this way. So what do you want to fight with these guys for? Because they're not from my family. I'm from SD, they're from LA. So what, you like to fight when you're drunk? No, I don't like them. When you don't like them? Like, when they're not where I'm from, I don't like them. I like, I like Kobe Bryant yeah. one time. I like him to win, but... I'm I'm a schizophrenic, paranoid. Okay, well we're, now I we're actually, gonna. I actually want to fight him. Fight who? I'm gonna fight LA. I'm SD. All right, I'm step inside. Do. Go down to your knees. Go down. Okay, stay here. Don't move. You understand? Well, he's gonna be in there for at least six hours. So, have you ever used PCP? No, actually, I didn't. Sir. It was actually like uh, Rocco. It was actually high on meth. It wasn't PCP. I'm sorry. It was meth? It was, lie. It was all a lie. What was it? It was just uh, a natural high. It goes through something like this. Take to the sky on a natural high. All right, Vincent, I'll talk to you later, all right? Yes, you Lord. take care. Yes, Lord. All right, man. Yes, Lord. Vincent came in here uh, a week ago. He was uh, high on PCP. Right now, he's uh, he's just drunk right now. And then once he's out of there, he'll be released and he'll be back in a few more days, drunk or high again, and we'll help him out. Turn to your left over here. We're gonna let you see the medical nurse right here. Yes. Yeah. Do me a favor. Step on the scale right here. You know how tall you are. Okay. Go ahead and have a seat. Okay. So, what do you do now for work? Um, I'm a prostitute. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm really. Do you find that hard to do here in San um, Diego being a, a male? No. How does it Actually, work? Actually, um, there is a huge market for what I am, not just in San Diego, but in a lot of this part of the country, and I'm sure probably the country over. You ever run in any trouble with, with any of that? Um, I have. Um, I got, yeah, most recently uh, slapped by one. Mm -hmm. um, I, usually it's because, like, um, you don't want to do something they want you to do. Mm -hmm. or you don't react the way they want you to react. You know? um, but for the most part, I, I think most of the guys are, are well-behaved and well-mannered. You know? All right, Rodney, we're going to take you up to your housing unit. Okay. So, uh, are you a little happier you're staying here instead of going to George Bailey? Yes, I am. What's the reason for that? Um, because they put us all in such a small area, mm -hmm. you know? They cram all of us in there, and everybody's on hormones. Imagine cramming, like, 12 PMS into one room and how the outcome of that would be. Well, Rodney, it was a pleasure talking with you. Yeah. I hope everything works out for you. Okay. I hope, uh, hope you can stay out of jail, OK? OK. Take care. Me too. He's on, in here on a parole hold. Hopefully, he can stay out. Maybe he won't. Only time will tell. I see hundreds of people coming in here every night. You start to learn how to read people and kind of figure out what type of person they're going to be. But you know sometimes that they're never going to come back because the experience of just knowing that they're not free, it just it's devastating to them. So what are you here for, a warrant? No. No? What, what's wrong? Why are you here? Oh, battery DB? Go ahead and put your hand on your head, ma'am. On the wall is fine, too. Tricky. Oh. Was it your first time you guys fight? Yes. What is it, stress? Yes, but he yeah. hasn't worked. It's just the load. Right. And then he, what, just started arguing or something? No. What happened? He Tell me. He just had a loss in the family. And we just had big old 
phone bills and I mean when he's drinking he just talks mess long distance. I mean, you know, right. the only one working. Mm -hmm. So it's just a, it's actually it's alcohol. I cannot do alcohol no more. Right. Did he actually um, hit you? Or what? Well, I defended from myself and he has a really bad rash and he's got really thin skin and I scratched him. I broke I nailed, that's how I scratched him. Oh. Who called? And he snapped me because we need, I asked him, we need to put an end to this. I mean, you don't want to give up alcohol. It's been 22 years. Wow, that's a long time to put up with that. Well, I come from an alcoholic family where you have a mom that stays with her husband for so long, you grow up seeing this, and it's not fair. It's the traditional? Pretty much. I didn't want to be alone. I just can't, can't deal with drinking. I just want out of the relationship because of that. And you said it's your first time here? Yes. What are you going to do now? Because you're the one in cuffs now. You know, he's he's at home. I, I mean, know, but if this is what it takes for him to leave, then go. We're going to get you processed through, OK? OK, okay see this empty row right here behind you, Boyko? <coughs> see this empty row? Have a seat on that last chair all the way to the end. <coughs> She's the one that's in here serving time because she can't get out of a situation with the partner that drinks. Stand up for me. Okay, yes, ma'am. Come over here. Okay, my shoe's a little bit broken. Okay, who are you here with? My boyfriend. It's birthday no. tomorrow. <laughs> Stand right here, ma'am. Face that wall for me. Spread your feet. Hey, I'm gonna get you some new shoes, okay? Thank you. Oh, hey. Some pretty ones? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna get you some ones that are more comfortable, okay? Oh, Nothing sharp sorry. on you, right? No. Except for my. Except green for what, ma'am? No, that's fine. Oh. Put your hands on your head, because I'm gonna put you in some oh, other cups, on the all right? Ma'am, put this shirt on for me. That's okay. Thank you. Yes, we gotta cover up, ma'am. You're in jail. <laughs> you don't wanna show everything in jail, do you? These are not people no. you want to show your She's stuff to. Right. These are even my big boobs. No, oh, I don't like big boobs. See what really? I mean? I know, I know, ma'am. Put your hands like back up on your head. I was in jail, though. So why are you here, ma'am? Bring this no, hand No, I think it was a assault. assault. Or, or what is that when you hurt somebody? Oh, who did you hurt? Nobody. You didn't hurt the security guard? No. A abuse? What's it called? Battery, maybe? Um, yeah. We could find out for you. We'll find out. Yeah. So I have to stay in jail a long time? I don't know, ma'am. I have to actually see what your actual charge is, OK? And then we'll know for sure. Let me get you some sandals. Go ahead and step out. Of, can you step out of those shoes? Um, yeah. Yeah, this is a fun vacation, huh? You're on vacation? Oh, yeah. Was From where, ma'am? Colorado. Wow. First day here. Got here at 5 this morning. Yeah? Thank you. Ma'am, you just broke your shoe. No, that's my ankle bracelet, here. remember? We thought it was an ankle bracelet, but it's really my shoe. <laughs> Ma'am, you're going to fall. Do me a favor. Have a oh. seat right here while I get you some sandals. Oh, thank you. Should we you're welcome. For my headache? Hey, we, you can talk to the nurse about that, okay? okay? Have a seat. Wait right here for a minute. So why did she get arrested? What's her um, charges? Sh she was at the Osho in Bellagio, and uh, sec security officers were dispatched there because she was causing the disturbance in the show. Right. Uh, they took her into custody, and they brought her back to the security office. Uh, bit one of the security female officers in the arm and uh, kicked one of the male security officers in the chest. Wow, she didn't add all that. Okay, so her actual charge is what? Is battery. Battery? Yes. Okay. What's your side of the story? It's not battery. You didn't invite anybody? No. I don't think I invited anybody. I bit, I bit somebody. The like security the officer, you bit the security officer. They have a bite mark on their arm. When she sobers up, I'm sure she'll regret all this show she's doing. She doesn't know how serious things are. It's been a real busy night tonight. We've already booked in about 120 people, and our night is still not over. Did you get through to your boss? Were you able to talk to them? I got through my supervisor, and I told her I wasn't in a predicament. Did she excuse you for I work? told her to excuse me through Monday, because I didn't know. Are you a little more calm now? Do you I feel better. 
I know I'm definitely making that change. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I feel better. I feel better. I mean, I always felt bad for him, but evidently he doesn't feel anything for me. Exactly. Not at all. He says, well, you're in jail and I'm here. Wow. Didn't want to come to jail, but it makes you realize he'll have to help himself out. He's not feeling empathy for me being in here. Exactly. Okay, Yolanda. Thank you. Yolanda talked to her husband, and he's not willing to cooperate with her. Very hard situation. He has no empathy for her at all. Hopefully she'll be able to get a hold of somebody later. All right, well, so. Okay, they're going to pat you down and process you through, okay? And then I can get out, maybe. And then you'll be able to make a phone call to see if you can bail out, okay? Over here. Go ahead. Is she ready for pants? She's ready for pants, yeah. Go ahead, take off any jewelry you have. Every piece of jewelry comes off. How are you feeling right now? Why are you crying? Okay. So I'm in jail. Yeah, I'm sorry if I was rude to you. You weren't rude to us. I understand you have a flight to catch. So is that a yes? Where do you live? I didn't catch that. Colorado. Oh, Colorado. When are you supposed to go back? 8.30. Flight leaves at 8.30. You're, you're not going to make it. Was Vegas everything you wanted it to be? No, I've never been here before. It's, it's a party city. Time. This is what happens to a lot of people. You're not the only one this has happened to. Yeah, but I should have known better. So since you know what happens when you drink, are, when are you? do you plan on drinking again? No. Anytime soon? No. That's it, huh? That's it. That was it. Simply, huh? I'm done. People come to Vegas, party, and get crazy and look what happens. She's not the only one. And the doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life. Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight. Another night in my street, another night in my hair. Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair. Now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my own. I don't want to